All right, friends, welcome back to Prepper Now. We are going to do a post-op here of the eclipse. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think uh, now it begins. <laughs> um, so some people took what I was saying. Uh, I don't think they understood. First of all, one person, I think they saw the picture that I had up. And they automatically thought that, uh, you know, I don't see anything from a spiritual point of view going on with this whole thing. Uh, I absolutely do. If you um, have been following me on my, uh, my stuff in the background, my subscription services, I've posted numerous times about the Aleph, the signature of God and all that. And I think there's something there. If you were... Um, listening uh this uh, when was it anyway um yeah this morning for my, my video this morning then i mean basically what i said was uh you know we are an immoral nation you know uh an immoral society across much of the west and we need to check ourselves and you know i didn't say repent but i mean we need to repent we have a lot of societal problems going on right now and a lot of it is this culture that we're pushing. And so, uh, you know, it, it, everybody's got their ways of dealing with it and, and all that. So uh, to those that uh, might have misunderstood, I, I, it's all good. You know, you guys are respectful about it. I'll tell you that much. That's kind of nice, uh, especially the one gentleman. You know, you can I can be challenged. You should challenge me. Something I'm saying you disagree with, you should you should challenge, you know, but be nice about it, which they all did. So that was cool. So let's talk about this uh, post-op of the uh, eclipse itself, okay? Um, now, for those that don't know, in, in 2017, I was down in the great state of South Carolina, okay? So I got the full Monty then. I saw it a real deal, full-on, sun goes completely down, eclipse looks like, okay? And it was cool. Don't get me wrong. It was cool. Being up here in the uh, central uh, portion of, of Maryland in the mid-Atlantic region, whatever the heck you want to call it, you know, the, the, it, it got a little darker than usual, you know, it looked like a really cloudy day or about to rain, but that was about it. You know, you put those stupid sunglasses on, you look up, you see a crescent, you know, kind of moon type thing, and that's basically it, you know. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I've I've seen multiple eclipses of all varying styles. So it doesn't, you know, do a lot for me. And, you know, honest with you, um, I do think, though, we are at a beginning of major problems, you know. And whether this is the kickoff or it just coincided with it, I can't tell you that. You know, I don't, nobody knows the time of the day. You know that. But uh there's a lot of coincidences going on and you'd be i don't know you'd, you'd be uh arrogant not to say hey let me at least take a look at this okay so what am i doing you know screaming from the mountaintops and all that kind of stuff i don't i don't think that does a lot i think the best thing for me to do is to be a good example to my kids and to be a good family man and to be healthy of spirit and body and to try to do things that are going to uh, uh, carry on, you know, and, and, and be uh, good for the loved ones around me. That's what I think it is. And, you know, being a, uh, you know, being a person that uh, is uh, trying to, to intake as much of the Christianity and morals that are out there that we all should. I mean, there's a reason. I'm not just a, a Christian because, you know, my, my parents way back when said, let's go to church. I mean, there's an actual attraction to it. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I teach the other religions. I teach uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, um, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. You know, I have a, a unit on the world religions. And even if I were just going in there, and with some, you know, fresh off the boat, wet behind the ears guy, 
and I were to hear about all five of those religions, I would probably choose, in fact, I know I would choose Christianity as my, my spiritual basis. And the reason why is because of, of the Most High, you know, Christ and what he represents and what he, you know, wants to embody and what he wants us to embody. It just is what I align with as a human being. So I can't, you know, recite chapter and verse of scripture. And, uh, you know, my spiritualness is definitely in needing of, of uh, you know, improvement and, and care and all that. But it's something as I get older, I'm, I'm definitely investing myself much more into and trying to do everything I can, you know. So, I mean, you got to understand, I come from the AA mentality, which is, you know, a wide net you attract more flies with honey than you do vinegar. So for the people that come out, you know, and, and basically talk down to you like you're uh, the worst thing ever if you don't just completely uh, get on board with everything immediately, and I think you do need to, to eventually get that way, but, you know, there's a process to stuff. So I don't know. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I actually envy their uh, – their, their approach. But, you know, for me, I'm just a questioning, critical thinking human. And I, I need a little bit more sometimes much to my, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's not, it's not great. You know, it's, it's not, you know, sometimes you just gotta be, that's what faith is. Sometimes you just gotta be vested in faith and I'm trying to do that. So Kevin grip, thank you very much. Please. If you'd like to join me here, I am starting to do more for the membership people in the background. Uh, those people knew that the ceasefire was dead in the water probably before most people in America. So uh, I will put it out there. But yeah, I mean, back to this, you know, whole thing and what this eclipse means to me, you know, I, I want to live as a moral human being. I want to be a good example to my, my family. I want to be a loving father, but at the same time, a strong person of faith and morals. And the kind of person that uh, is respected and looked up to for such qualities and characteristics. And the reason why is because it's a lot of what my father had. And he came from the kind of background where he, you know, I mean, I'll put it to you this way. When his father died, he said one word. He looked at me and said, good. I never met my grandfather. Because he was, he was really, really incredibly uh, mean, nasty, and physical with my father and his mother. So, uh, you know, we didn't know that side. I didn't know, I didn't know any, uh, you know, I met my, my grandmother once, but she died. And other than that, I didn't know my father's family because he didn't want me to know. He was, he was, he was afraid of them. And, and also I think they were afraid of him because he, he escaped. He was the one that got out. And so, uh, after what he has done and that cycle that he broke, I mean, he never laid a hand on us. He was a father that loved us. He uh, hugged us when he needed to be hugged, and he did all the things right. He was a good man. He is a good man. He's still, God bless, he's still around, thank God. And I hope he's around for another, you know, 30, 40 years. I can't imagine trying to go through all this without having him as a a person that I could talk to and, and go to. You know, he's, he's a good man. So, um. I have to live up to that. So it's cool too, because they're, they're really getting invested in the faith. Every time, you know, we come over, my mom makes sure that we're saying our prayers and uh, you know, stuff like that. They're, they're, you know, doing church and they're getting invested in their church and stuff like that. So it's, it's cool to watch that because when we were growing up, we were very busy. You know, we'd, we'd go to church and we'd have stretches and then we'd kind of fall out and sports ball would start happening again and yada, yada. But, uh, now, you know, they're, they're fully invested in getting into it. So hopefully that kind of explains my spiritual base a little bit more. Um, I don't really get invested into dates and times and, oh, this is it. You know, it's all going to go down on this day. I don't get into that. I think that you just set yourself up for failure. This is a slow motion, fuster cluck train wreck that we are going through right now. It is. And you know, this isn't going to be a one day thing. <laughs> it's going to be years and years of, of pain. It really will be, unfortunately. 
and I wish it's not, but it 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 is. So uh, we'll just have to to keep doing what we're doing, and and you know, um, I've never based this channel on trying to be hyperbolic. I've never based it on, uh, you know, trying it to be. Um, you know, uh, click baity, you know, but you do have to do things sometimes. You got to make thumbnails that look cool. You got to make uh, titles that are enticing and all that. So there's that whole thing. And then YouTube, of course, wants you to, uh, you know, be, uh, uh, have exciting stuff to draw people in and, you know, with an element of the whole clickbait thing. So you got to, you got to do that as well. It is what it is. And so, um, you know, you just manage the whole thing and, uh, here we are. So, but there's a lot of great channels out there that did a lot of great things today, and um, uh, thankfully nothing uh, nothing crazy happened, as far as I can tell. I haven't heard of anything, and uh, you know, we're uh, we're we're still here. You know, uh, <laughs> so this uh, um, what you call it a uh, uh, like a movie where uh, uh, Left Behind, <laughs> and uh, you know, this guy comes rolling up on the preacher and they're all in church and the, the preacher's been left behind, right? And he's like, you know, what, what do we do? What do we do? And he's looking for the preacher for answers and the preacher's just like, I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> so I don't know. All I can do is, uh, all I can do is be a good dad, you know, good good dad, good husband, good person. You know, that's that's it. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about me. No, I mean this this whole thing today. Um, you know the the God's signature thing is what I, I guess I'm terming it. Where the Aleph, where you you know the the A uh, going over the country. I mean, as I said this morning, I think you'd be, I think you'd be remiss not to not to look at all of the stuff that is going on in our country. And, and not worry about the future and worry about our basis as a society and all of the things that we've got, you know, going on and dealing with. Um, I can't get into specifics here. There are certain elements. I said to my wife the other day, you know, she were talking about stuff. And I said, look, you know, it's not like, lifestyles and all that it's the it's the social engineering i have a problem with if things happen naturally if they happen organically okay it is what it is when you're sitting there and you can just feel the inorganic nature of our society they do everything they can to push us in certain ways and you can fill in the blanks with everything i'm not going to get into the specifics but you know you've seen it you've watched movies You've watched the culture. You've watched commercials. You see what they push upon us. When you're watching all that and you're like, you know, this is what they want. They want it to be this way. Then you know that there's an agenda. And if you look, I mean, my metric is this. My metric is the mental health of the, of the country. Where are we mentally health? Like, where are we right now, folks, uh, from a mental health perspective? Are we in a good way or are all the numbers exploding to the crazy side of things? Because last I checked, everything is exploding to the crazy side of things. All the negative, nasty numbers are going up. Drug use is going up. People, you know, doing themselves in is going up. Violence is going up. All this stuff. So when I sit back and look at it, I don't see this as a healthy country. Now, nothing's going to be perfect, but I, I see it as a, uh, a, you know, a country that's uh, crying out for pain and, and, or, uh, you know, in, you know, from pain in need of help. And we need to do stuff. That's, that's why I'm getting more into my faith. That's why I'm looking more towards uh, those spiritual answers there because I'm one man. I can, I can call it, but I can't, you know, I can't stop it. So, but anyway, yeah, it was, it was good. We had those, those, if you're in a relationship with your significant other, I highly recommend um, going and, and having a weekend with each other and just, just talking and putting the phones down and just enjoying each other, which we did. And I'm really happy I, I did. I'm, I'm the luckiest guy on the planet when it comes to 
uh, who my partner is. I'm, I'm there. You literally, I, I could not ask for more. God has blessed me. If there's any proof of God, it's right there because I don't deserve her, to be honest with you. So, but you know what? If I were to say that to her, she'd blush and be like, oh, shut up. You know, you, you're not, you, that's, that's not true. So, but we're, as a society, we've got a lot of problems. And so, um, whether this whole thing today is a kickoff or not, I don't know, but it's going to get worse. Um, you know, looking at all the things, and, and one of the reasons why I'm saying it now begins, I've got a crisis report coming on after this here uh, at about 11.15, okay? I pre-recorded it because I need to start getting more sleep. I do. Um, and so I'm going to start to do things a little bit earlier. I don't want to cross up with any of the prepper channels, but I think I can do things in a way where it's a little bit earlier. I get my full amount of sleep because i got to start taking care of myself more. Uh, when I'm in the in the year uh, outside of summer, I'm usually only getting six hours of sleep, and that's that's not cutting it anymore at the ripe young age of fifty. So, um, this thing today in in Israel with the ceasefire falling apart, this is bad news. Um, I haven't looked in the last hour, but. Uh, you know, now everything is all super tense, and we are a place. Uh, and by the way, you know, one person said, you know, I don't, I don't like some of the people you listen to and all that. I don't fully invest in anyone on this stuff. I go to a wide, a wider range, a wide array of people, just to see what they're saying. And there's certain people I go to just because of where they are physically. They're in certain countries and locales that I want to get the on the ground, and so. But the cool news is, is that person, and I think they know who they are, uh, was very respectful. So I can dig it. Um, but yeah, as it stands right now, I'm, you know, we're waiting right now. It's what? It's 5 a.m. over there. And uh, it looks like everything is, um, everything is uh, in a holding pattern right now. Now, someone said, uh, oh, Akila, this guy, like he said, the um, things changed today when Netanyahu came out and said, uh, we've got a date for Rafa. Cracking into it. Um, that's the, you know, that's the big deal. Like, when, when is that going to go down? When is, when is that going, going to happen? Because that's going to be a big moment. I personally think that we're in a bit of a Mexican standoff right now between Israel and Iran. Both countries know that if they commit to some form of a major response or retaliation or strike or whatever you want to call it, that the gloves are going to come off by everybody and it's going to get rolling. The other thing is, is that right now, I mean, the Israeli people, they don't feel like America's in their corner. So, uh, you know, for better, for worse. And again, when I'm talking about all this stuff, I'm just doing it from like a referee kind of perspective. I'm, I've, I've got my personal feelings, but I really don't want to put it one way or the other or promote one way or the other. I want, again, I want this to be a big tent because the more voices we have here, the more we're going to flesh things out and get a better understanding of, of where things are going. You guys are smarter than me in a lot of different stuff. And the and com I know I can tell that by the comments. I've always said it. I got the smartest subs on, on YouTube. Uh, you guys are always putting in stuff in there that I, I don't even think about. You know, I, I don't even consider. So, but yeah, I mean, I mean, who knows where, where is this all going to go? What, what's, what's going to happen at this point? I mean, we really are in a precarious situation and everybody's waiting for uh, someone to go in and start, you know, throwing blows, whatever that may look like. Uh, there is a lot of talk today that, uh, you know, Israel might just decide to go Samson option preemptive. Now, I don't believe that, but is it a possibility? Yeah, absolutely it is. And, uh, you know, I mean, we all know that if, if Israel thinks it's existential, if they think that they're, they're going down and they're not getting back up, <laughs> they're going to melt everybody's face for a thousand miles across, you know. And that's a problem. And then from there, like, where does the world go from? And the other thing is, is, you know, I mean, a lot of the Western countries aren't real happy with Israel right now, but 
they're still there. They're still backing them up. Uh, you know, you, you, they, they say, hey, you know, they'll, they'll talk, you know, down on Israel, but then they're chucking them F-16s in the background. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, in and, and, and Israel or, uh, excuse me, Iran, uh, you know, everybody's expecting them to, to have a retaliation. They're expecting them to have a, a strike. That's why it's funny when these religious leaders they have come out and, you know, say the uh, cryptic stuff that they do that ties on an expectation, especially by the people that are living in that part, part of the world. There's a tens of millions of people that are hoping that Iran just, you know, throws down and starts going for broke against them. And then from there, what happens? Like, what, what does Qatar do? What does uh, UAE, what does Saudi Arabia, what does Egypt do? You know, what do they, they pile on? Do they come to their help? Do they sit back and, See what happens when the dust cleared. What does that look like? I don't think anybody knows. So we're just in a we're just in a strange place right now, and it's dangerous. It really is. Um, the Russian thing is is uh, evolving in a bad way as well. Um, you know, you've got uh, countries like Lithuania and Finland um, are really getting. Uh, saber rattly with their rhetoric you've got uh all kinds of stuff getting chucked to to kiev kiev is is doing everything it can to uh anger the russians and to really make them bear down on them so they can cry out for as much help as possible from whoever will give it you know so there's that whole thing i mean we're just you know <laughs> Well, there's some stuff out in uh, China today, in the uh, South China Sea. Philippines and China are starting to slap each other around a little bit. I don't know. I just I don't I, I don't remember the world being this way when I was growing up. I grew up in Reagan's America, you know. I grew up in Kansas, uh, and I remember when 1984, when they were or 83, when they were filming the day after, right down uh, away from us, and all the parents knew. It's a big old nuclear war movie, and, you know, what's that going to look like? And none of us were allowed to see it. I remember, uh, you know, my parents, um, they all got into a call, right? Because back then, you know, cell phones, so you just, you know, all the moms called each other. And they all the moms just agreed from our school, uh, said we're not going to let our kids watch it. So when they go into school tomorrow, they're not all talking about it, so. Old school, folks. Remember when y'all used to drink from the the – the hose is out back and you knew it was time to go home and the <laughs> street lights would go down, go rolling in on your bike and mom have that lone plate sitting there on the kitchen table because you've been out playing sports ball with your buddies and, and doing all kinds of crazy stuff out in the neighborhood. Man, it's uh, like that one meme says, we never knew we had it so good. Never knew we had it so good. PNW Prepper still <laughs> he still drinks from the hose. Yes, that's right. Actual lawn darts. Lone Wolf Prepper says, a, a world conflict has not even started yet. World War II didn't uh, end until nukes were dropped. And he's, you know what? You're absolutely correct. People, you know, think, you know, they people in America think World War II is 1941 to 1945. No, bull BS. You know, September 1st, 39 is when it really kicked off. But if you really wanted to see where it got, I mean, it got started when uh, H-Man was going into Austria and Czechoslovakia and, you know, putting in the, uh, uh, the um, oh, God, the, the law where he could do whatever he wanted. I can't remember. I, I remember the name. I, it's been, I, I just did the unit, too. Uh Anyway, if you want to put the he put a law of the Enabling Act, you know, when he put that in, that's when it was like, okay, you know, now things are getting going. So same kind of thing, though. All the countries knew it was coming. They're all getting beefed up in their their war, uh, you know, kind of stuff. And here we are. You know, it's it's same kind of thing. There's a lot of parallels to one and two. A lot of them. Dusk, we used to walk in first grade, folks. Four miles uphill both ways. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Uh, 
World War, yeah, yeah. You know, I was telling my uh, kids today about uh, fifth gen, you know, warfare. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions and we're doing uh, Cold War stuff right now, right? And I said, you know, it's fifth gen. They said, what's that? I said, well, you know, it's like you and your buddies are, are sitting there and you got another pack of buddies that you're not real into. And uh, one of them, uh, you know, is, comes walking your way and, from behind, you distract them, and one of your buddies comes up and tips all their crap out of their hand and then goes and runs, and they don't see who it is. And then as they're picking it up, you know, another friend comes over and, and dumps a little Dr. Pepper on their head. You know? <laughs> so, it's not a full-on fight, but there's a lot of conflict going on, you know. So that's, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, also, what do you guys think about this whole thing where out in California, I got to switch up because I'll, I'll get all mired in that. So I think we've talked enough war and, and morals at this point uh because this one kind of i think should be talked about and uh you know i've only got a little bit longer i'm gonna go what do you guys think about this thing in san francisco where they're putting salt crystals into the sky now first and foremost if you know anything about anything you know those salt crystals and whatever the heck else is going on you know that stuff is is being placed in places and there's been manipulations that uh we all know about, you know, you can't necessarily, uh, you know, point to it, but when, you know, like today where I'm looking up at the sky, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking up for the, uh, the eclipse. Right. And there's just all these big old stripes <laughs> going on in the sky above stripe, 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 stripe. And I think, you know what I'm talking about with the stripe sky, you know, look at that. And, and now they come out and they say, Oh, by the way, uh, we've been uh, putting salt up there, trying to darken it, you know. First of all, who died and made you God, you know? Like, why Why would you want to do that? Why would you, you don't know, the, there's a reason why people have a backlash against that. We've seen enough Doom movies, Doom, where, you know, the stuff goes south and the environment, I mean, look at the movie Snowpiercer. Please don't turn us into Snowpiercer. That kind of thing. I mean, every time we try to mess with the environment or do stuff to, to you know, on a grand scale, it bites us in the you-know-where. So seeing that just kind of aggravated me. Um, but then again, I'm like, well, we all know that this is something that's been, at the very least, you know, experimented. I mean, I think we all, I, I don't know. I, I, I think there's a little bit more of an experiment going on with it, but. I don't know. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm been tripping on. So, <laughs> yeah. golden chains are becoming copper. Yes. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? The tic tac toe patterns don't fade out perfectly normal plane exhaust condensation. Thank you, Johnny Finance. I agree with you up there playing X's and O's. So. I just like why would you want to manipulate that? And also, what is what is taking out this? Like last time I checked, the sun's a good thing. <laughs> sun, sun grows food. If I if I'm if I remember my basic eighth grade science, why would you want to take the sun out of things? I I mean, think about that. Like, just I mean, talk about playing with fire. Oh man, I mean, there are. Andrew Dar says, I'm waiting to play Fallout in real life. These fools are setting it up just like that. Man, no truer words. No truer words. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All I can do is me, folks. You know? God, I'll tell you what. I'd go nuts if I didn't have you guys. I would. And my wife. Her first. You second. Just so much going on, you know? But, um, yeah. All I can say is that uh, you know you're uh, you, you're you're be, if you're not prepping and putting food away and, and doing all the things and uh, you're asking for it. Uh, yeah, so be a prepper, folks. That's all I can say. It's uh, not a bad thing. We're going through a lot of our stuff right now as we're uh, 
you got cans and flour and rice and pasta and stuff. We're just trying to go through it. Some of the stuff that uh, is a little long in the tooth. And uh, I'll tell you what, you want to talk about fighting the prices, fighting the prices, man. You, you, you go in, you got those preps. Uh, the only thing that we've gotten into that's been a little iffy is our flour. I don't know what that, what's up with that. I don't know if we just got crappy stuff. It's, it's bread's fine and all that, but it's just kind of chalky. I don't know. So, but we're getting real into bread and uh, making. My wife is making sourdough. We're making loaves all the time. We might have just made a bad loaf, but yeah. Well, friends, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right there. Here in five minutes at eleven fifteen, crisis report's gonna kick off and give you thirty minutes of the most comprehensive news on YouTube, talking about all this stuff today, where it went, where it started, how it started. And where we go from here. And I'm looking at all this stuff as I'm talking to you guys. And um, right now, it seems like everything is calm. Uh, Akilah said, everybody's looking at this no uh, noticed uh, uh, air missions, this NOTAM thing in, in uh, Iran. And basically what they said was, uh, and I'll get into it tonight. Um it says, Iran has now issued a NOTAM stating missile launches applicable from uh, April 10th, 3.30 a.m. to April 12th, 10.30 a.m. Uh, he said, most likely exercises, but who knows. So that right there, that's uh, that's a big question. What is this NOTAM for or whatever? But, I mean, I don't know. If you're going to strike someone like uh, this, why would you tell them? Anyway. Maybe they're just trying to save face and uh, keep mulling along because I don't think either – both both countries know what this all means. It means big, big conflict, big war. So pray to God they don't do it, but I got a bad feeling. All right, friends, we're going we're gonna to rock it out from here um, and uh, go to the crisis report. Five minutes and starting uh, on the backup channel, the other channel. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash at Crisis Report if you want to go there. If you're not subbed, please do it. It's just a news channel where I go and I tabulate all this stuff and I just put it out there. And uh, we talk about all the news that uh, we can fit into about 30, 45 minutes. So we'd love to have you. Other than that, hit that like button, please. Do the subscribe thing. If you're not subscribed here, if you like what we're doing, Join us on the memberships if you'd like. Join us on the subscription services if you'd like. We put a lot out there as well. And uh, I just um, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a uh, you know a listener. And thanks for uh, your input and putting your stuff in there. Please leave a, leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Uh, I had a lot of people that uh, you know didn't like some of the things I said earlier, but they're incredibly respectful today they said hey you know i disagree with this but it's cool you know and that's okay we're not supposed to get along all the time and who knows i might be thinking wrong and you guys might say something that changes my mind for the for the better very cool all right friends we're going to turn this one off going over the crisis report god bless and we'll see you tomorrow on the next one